Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Blasted Oasis. Hey everybody, I just want to apologize. So, day 18 ended up getting deleted accidentally somehow. I don't know, I've been so busy with work lately and I've been trying to get these episodes posted. I somehow deleted episode 18 and posted day 20 as day 18 or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to get the, the timeline sorted out. This is day 19. So I'm going to fix that in the playlist and then we'll continue on from day 21 after that. All right. Sorry about that. So it is day 19. Uh, the traders do restock today. So I think we're going to go hit them up and we'll trigger, we'll figure out something, something else we're going to do. I know we said we were going to go down and do those treasure quests. I think we should probably go do those first. I got clay melting down at both these forges. Uh, I did a little bit of work on the house last night. I set this up out here um, just in case you know, the zombies do decide to get a uh, um, an idea to try and climb up here and get to us. At least if they jump, they're going to run into dropping these bars and fall down. So we're going to open this up and we're going to just get a couple frames going. This is how we're going to get in and out for now. We'll figure out what we're going to do later on, but I think this is kind of the way I want to go and why are you oh because the ladders here um, let's go use use the ladder for now and yeah we got our coin on us so we'll keep that I think that's what we said we were gonna do last time sorry it's been a couple of a uh, couple of days since I recorded the last episode I got a lot going on right now I've got several series running so I gotta kind of remember what I'm doing in each one um, so let's go this way in case you don't know, I have a very, very like low attention span. I'm a, I am a attention deficit hyperactive disorder. Well, not hyperactive, but I, de I definitely have ADD for sure. I do forget a lot of things too, so don't don't feel don't feel um, um, strange for putting stuff in the comments section because uh, yeah, I'll forget stuff for sure, and I, I like to be reminded. I don't I don't have any problems with that. Uh, now. The reason why, um, sorry, I, I forget your name again. Uh, somebody's been posting that I maybe should be running using the uh, running shoes um, instead of the armor on my feet. And I'm not actually using them for the same reason that I'm not using the looting goggles as I go around. I should have taken taken one of those uh, eye candies with me. That's a big mistake. Oh well, um, because I just forget to I forget to. Swap, swap them back and forth and I would rather have the armor on me than anything right now. now I know it's not a lot of armor but still it's like an extra five points or whatever so I prefer having that on my feet than I would um, getting a little bit of extra stamina boost from running because I can always slow down and speed up and slow down. Okay so this is the shooting balls place I guess or whatever it's called like a gun yeah it's like a uh, an arena or whatever back there not arena but you know what I'm talking about there we go there we are this knife is nice okay so I've changed the settings slightly. Oh, there's a cracker book here too. All right, stay on target. We'll wait till we have, we'll come here with looting goggles and eye candy. That will probably help with the number of books that we can pick up from there. Um, not necessarily the quality of books, but the number probably. Get this back out again. So yeah, I increased the difficulty slightly. I didn't raise the actual zombie difficulty I just raised the zombie speed so now the zombies are on run mode rather than jog so they're gonna be faster and we'll leave it that way for a while I think that'll make things challenging if we're facing more than one zombie ah shit there's a bear okay the question now is do we go after the bear Um, let's see. We're pretty stealthy because of the 
armor we're wearing and all of the reduction. Turn this off. That's a bird I'm hearing flapping. Okay, where did he go? There you are. Good, he went the other way. All right, let's get in here. I'll feel better once we're underground. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so good. Okay, the zombies can run now, so I gotta be careful. Let's hope we get something good out of this. Fuck. See what kind of speed we're dealing with. Let's get down the road here. We don't have to worry about mines. Yeah, a little bit of speed. I mean... We can still kill them easily, but if if we, we have to worry about getting overwhelmed, right? So that's a little better, I think. Come on, you guys. I need the XP. There's another one over there. Let's get you. Ooh, he almost got me with a free hug. Okay, here comes her. It's good because I've got, like, I mean, I'm super light, plus I got the 10% uh, run bonus. So I don't feel so scared. I don't think dogs or bears gain any speed from that, so. All right, now we need to go to um, here. This is interesting. Is this another town? Oh, that was a landmine. I only took one point of damage. <laughs> oh my god, the speed saved me. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I don't know if that was one of the blue ones or if that was uh, one of the hubcap landmines. There's a bear right there. Why is the bears always in the place I want to go? What we really need is a silencer now. Alright, I'm going to hit up a few of these on the way too. We really need to find a silencer. Alright, we got a guy here. What's up buddy? Protecting your bird's nest are you? Come on, get up. There you are. Make it easier for me to kill you. Nothing. Ah, come on. Get out the way. There we go. Alright, back at it. Let's get to this treasure. Let's not step on any more landmines. I'm hitting up a bunch of these free uh, bricks here. Just to increase the amount of stone we have so we can make lots of sand and stuff. Alright, there's another... There's a bag over here I want to check out too. What do we got here? Oh, some water. Because I didn't eat. Because of course I didn't. Why would I do that? Might as well drink it. Keep me nice and refreshed. Alright, let's keep going. Can't be that far away now. That bird is just waiting for me to mess up. It's following me along here. Alright, we got a guy over here. Come on, bring it in. Got something for you. There you are. He didn't seem to like my gift. But, you know, you can't please everybody. Mo might like it, but a little better. Let's find out. What do you think, Mo? Mm, I don't think he's liking it either. Well... Whatever. Right, let's grab some more free stone here. I call it free stone because it's like 50 stone for two hits with this with this pickaxe. Which is, I mean, it, 
if you think about it, you're getting 50 stone from a, from regular stone underground as a default. So if you can get the same amount for like less hits. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. I watched another episode of Cap's playthrough today. Um, he's, things are picking up for him. It's good. I find he's very cautious, though. I mean, I guess you kind of have to be out here. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, he's doing a little better. Although he's still working with the... Uh, for some reason, he's still got that wooden um, club. I, 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 he should really go ahead and make a... Uh, a baseball bat. Well, it doesn't seem like it does that much more damage. Um, I feel like it's got a bit more reach. Uh, and it hits harder. It's just heavier. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just a psychological thing, how it feels when you're using it. But I always upgrade to the baseball bat as soon as I possibly can. I know range-wise, it definitely feels like it's a, a lot better. All right, let's get in here. How many lockpicks do I have? 12. Should be able to get it in 12, right? Right? Maybe? Well, we'll definitely find it a lot faster with these sh shovel and pickaxe. All right, we're just going to use this guy. Come on, right there. All right, wish me luck. All right, we got a wandering horde. Don't know if they're going to hear me down here. I'm going to do this. Maybe take that one out. I don't know. They might hear me down here. Usually I don't have too much problems with people hearing me underground. But you never know. I find if you're using metal tools for some reason, it's they hear you easier. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but maybe it's just psychological again, but that's what it feels like. Okay, so that's... you're going this way. All right, we'll keep going this way. So we're going to be dealing with these zombies when we get out of here. Thank God this isn't a, uh, a traitor quest. Or else we'd be dealing with the wandering horde plus uh, more zombies. Okay, keep going this way. Well, the bear heard me. I don't think he can drop in here. Well, looks like we're fighting our way out of this place. I don't know why I didn't have that on. here somewhere. I hear you up there. I feel like we're in a bad situation here. There it is. Christ, we're going to have a nightmare in a minute. Okay, don't hear him beating on the... Uh, he's beating on rocks, I think. Maybe not. We're going to get this in one shot? Ooh, be something good. Well. Come on, you fucker, I'm over here. There's the bear. How do we get out of here now? Come on guys, I'm over here. There you are. I think the bear's dead. Oh no he's not dog wasn't dead either. What the hell? 
But now the bear's dead. Come on, you dick turd. How many are we dealing with up here? Gonna be burning through some ammo. Oh, we better kill her. Looks like two of her, too. That's her done. Fucking another bear. Die. That bear dead? Do we let them in? The bear can't get down here. Come on. That's a fucking screamer. <laughs> I can't take these bears apart from here. And they're in my way, of course. <sighs> that should be it, though. Oh, come on. You're not going to let me... Oh, fuck's sake. Actually, i got to go this way. Now I should be able to do it. Did we blow the other bear up? I think we did. Okay, well, that's that done. Now, uh, where are we going here? Here. <laughs> we burned through almost all of our ammo. We can't engage another bear now. Uh, where are we going? This way. Cannot engage a bear. I really should grab some of this coal. No, I can't afford to be messing around out here. We got a level though. How does she get a piece of me? Don't hear any birds coming for me. But they are. As long as I keep moving, I think I should be fine. They normally give you that the uh, annoying screech before they attack you. Well, there's a dog. Come on, you fuckers. I know you're up there. Here you are. Come on, bring it in. Free hugs. You too. Beautiful. Let's keep going. I'm not going to bother harvesting any of that stuff. So I guess we're buying ammo today. Another dog. Ooh, we took that one right in the neck. Nice. Oops, I didn't think I was loaded. It's all about timing with the bow and the uh, the bat for dogs. Ah. 
All right, let's not run into any bears. As many zombies as you want, as long as they're coming one at a time. You can sucker them, as you, as you saw right there, you can sucker them into swinging for you. And then back up so that they miss automatically because you're not anywhere within range. That should help you avoid uh, taking those random hug hits. I mean, there are times when they're going to hit you no matter what you do. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just want to check this trash in peace. Nothing. Got to break it or otherwise, next time I'm down this way, I'll be like, What's that? Oh, jeez. Hundred and fifty, it's enough for seventy-five rounds. Alright, we got another one over here. Uh let's leave her. I gotta turn my light off just to be less detectable. Another bird. I can see why Cap hates the birds now. But I think he's always running around with pretty, like, not low health, but lower than average health. And, he, and he, when he takes the, his, his mini bike, he's just going at normal putter speed. So it gives the birds plenty of time to stay on him. So he drags them around where, where, wherever he goes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I heard him growling. So yeah, he, he, he's puttering around. If you're going to be on... Ow! I didn't even hear that guy. See, I was laughing at the, the birds and he got me from nowhere. But he putters around the bike and that's the one thing I'm like, man, just I know it, you're saving gas, but honestly, you're better off burning that little extra bit. Where'd that dog go? I know he's like right here. I got all discombobulated by that bird. The dude over there. Well, I'm sure he'll show up. There he is over there. Okay, fine. All right, we got to deal with this guy now. We're back on the road, thank goodness. Are we at the... Where is this place? Here comes another bird. This guy coming or what? Apparently not. I have had it with the birds. That should take care of it. As long as you're at full health, it should stop bothering you. Alright, free couple hundred stone. We'll take that before we go back. Let's go smoke this girl. So this is the sham way. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to get you there. Thought you were just outside of my reach. So, yeah, we're on the other... Oh, this is the electronics place. Yeah, we're on the other side of town now. Uh, I'm not going to hit this store up yet. I'm going to wait. Um, the other one should just be right here somewhere. Right, we're finding a good number of eggs today, which is great because we're going to need to get some food. I'm probably going to have to buy it at the trader. We're not going to get any from this. Oh, wait, this is a level one, I think. Oh, there's a snack up here, too. Hey, buddy. Did you bring your snake friend with you? No? Where is he? There he is. There we go. I can no longer I can no longer just love tap him with one hit. I gotta like do a swing on him to get him in one shot. Ooh, corn seed like that. Take that. I think that's the one we can't make. I think we can make potato seeds, but we can't make corn seeds. Or did we get the corn seed recipe last episode? I can't remember. 
We just don't have any corn to be able to make the seeds, I think. That was what it was. Which is fine. Alright. Deal with this. Alright, where are you here? I left my frames, that's right. Um, let's get three. Yeah, I'm thirsty now. How much I can do about it. Alright, let's get this done. This is a tier one though, so this should give us some food and water. Alright, wish me luck. Oh my god. Really? It's like right here. Okay, let's get the bat out. Uh, let's do a couple things here first. Let's repair this so I don't forget for later. And... Fucking cornmeal. Let's use two of these. Take this. Um... not die oh come on can I not jump out of here there we go all right let's get over here all right, I'm hungry so I'm only good take out two of these guys and then we're gonna go to the trader can't believe we didn't get any food that is so bad isn't there a uh, a vending machine in front of this one no there isn't damn it okay well let's not get killed you know, I used to run around with a stack of, like, water and half a stack of food all the time. Like, you know, five bacon and eggs and, and a full stack of water. Or a full stack of red tea or stuff, but... I just stopped doing it in this version for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's because it uses up so much room in my inventory. Alright. I really hope... If the traders don't have... The handlebars that we need we're gonna bite the bullet and just uh, go ahead and use the skill points I don't want to because I think once for on this map playthrough once we have the mini bike we're not gonna need anything else because the map really isn't that big it's like a 6k map so it's like you know, about 50% the normal size. 8K maps are the full size, but I think area-wise, I think that's more than 50% bigger. Yeah, I hear ya. Oh, hurry up. If you want a hug, come on over here. I got a hug for you. There you go. Little love tap. Never hurt anyone. Well, it never hurt me. It hurt you, but not me. Is that a bear? Nope. I thought I caught a glimpse of a bear out of the corner of my eye there. Alright, let's see what kind of fud this guy's got. Let's take the sugar butts. Let's buy both of them. Buy your can of stock and your chicken rations. And your sham. Because I'm hungry. Use that. That. And that. Excellent. What Hi. is up? Here is your reward. I owe you one. Bicycle handlebar schematic. Let's take the full... Th ah, okay. First aid kits is what we want. I guess out of that. Bandolier mod schematic. We got a bandolier, right? Come back tomorrow. Am I not mistaken? New goods daily. Yeah, we got a bandolier. You only can use one, so. Alright, so nothing really here. We got motorcycle handlebars, that figures. It just uses so much gas though. Truck chassis. 
Uh, forge and workbench, we've got both of those. Now you got them in stock, though. Um, don't have much of that, but we'll buy it. Um, I'm not going to buy your sand. Forge steel, though. All right. Um, forge steel, forge to iron. What do you got here? Any ammo for me? Shotgun rounds. I don't really have a shotgun, though. Um, just seeing if it's worth... Oh, crucible schematic. Well, it's definitely worth spending the money or using the uh, thing now. So we need... What do we got here? We got the wood splitter on here. Weighted head. We got a weighted head on there. We don't have one on the bat. I'm not going to buy the weighted head, though. We can buy the polymer string. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to scrap this. Might as well just scrap these two, and we'll scrap these. Go ahead and use one of these guys. That'll give us plenty of time to get back over to the other place. And then we can sell a bunch of stuff that I know we're not going to use. Um, this guy, this guy, all of this. This will let us make a cigar, although we've already got one. Um, all right, that gives us a fair bit. All right, so starting at this end, we want to go with the crucible schematic. We want to go to the, with the polymer string. We've already got the steel tool schematic. We don't have anything here that I really want. I was really hoping for nine mil or uh, seven six two. Iron arrows, Let's save me having to make them. Anything good here? Nothing good here. Okay, down here we had, I mean, we could buy the motorcycle handlebars, and if he's got a motorcycle chassis at the other end, then we could just go with the motorbike instead. It's got way more storage. But then again, if he's got a good weapon down there, I would rather buy the weapon. Um, we can always come back. That's the thing. We can always come back here, right? Is there anything else? I'm going to buy the crushed sand. And I'm going to buy a steel. Well, we can make steel now. Do I want to buy it, though? No, we'll wait. We can make our own now. Anything else here we want? Nothing else I don't think we need. I think we're good. No uh, oil shale? No. Ammo? Uh, no, I think we're good here. Gratitude and Got any jobs out to the west? You don't. Clear tier, tier 2 to the south. Fetch way south. To the east is a fetch clear. And a clear to the I east. That's where we are. Oh, thank you very much. All right, we'll take that because we can do that. Now let's quickly go ahead and modify you. Put you in there. Let's use this. Oh, man, I'm so glad I found the recipe. Attack rifle up. Let's go. So we got all the back knocked out back there, which is excellent. Let's go in here. I don't know if I've got anything else for sale to the trader, do I? Oh, I got a shit ton of stuff to sell. So we're going to go ahead and sell some of that. Now let's put this stuff in here for now. Uh, what else? Metals. Anything that can get melted can go in there. And our ammo. Got four rounds. <laughs> Good thing we got a bunch in here. Take 150 with us. Uh, what else ammo? We got these guys here. Gunpowder. Anything else going there? Nope. Let's go over here. I have to make some food tonight. Uh, so that's the stuff. That's you. Better hurry up, though. We're going to run out of time here. Drop some stuff in there. You can go. You can go. You. And then... Use one of these guys. Moonshine can go in there. 
nice that we got all those kits though. That can go in there. Oops, water can go in here. All right, let's just grab. That's the extra one. I was like panicking there for a second. Wait a minute, why am I selling that? Um. And we've got enough for one more because we've got to get rid of these feathers. So let's just take 15 of these guys. All right, others can go in here. Let's go. So looks like it's the house just behind the traders is that guy's quest. Let's see what we can get from this guy. Hopefully he's got more ammo and stuff. What do you got in here? Rock busters, I'll take that. Jailbreaker? Sure. That way we'll have it on us. Alright, do we still have time? We got three minutes. Beautiful. Ooh, we'll take that. Thank you. Don't let this go to your head. I will not. Alright. Uh, so we still got our thing up and running here. Yeah, you won't take that now. Crap. Oh well. All of those guys, you, 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 all of you guys, all of you guys, uh, you, 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 we got over a stack now, beautiful, you, you, go, 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 all right, please tell me you have something I can use here, spear hunter, no thank you, um, not really a spear guy, I tried using a spear in the past, but it's just not working for me. Double barrel shotgun, eh. No real armor. No gunpowder. Blood bags. They're cheap enough and I want to be able to make first aid kits later on, so we'll buy those for now. Mini bike chassis, that's what we sold them, so you don't have the handlebars. Crap. Not even a whole mini bike, that would have been nice. Let's take all this. Cement. We don't need the steel now. And you don't have any um, oil shale. I could just, how much is the concrete mix? 2,600? Um, it's just gonna speed up our production at this point. We got the money for it, so we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Buy the casings. Ooh, magnums. Buy the casings, buy the tips. And the rest of the stuff is what we sold them down here. What if we should buy a Magnum? Like we can run around with the TAC rifle and a Magnum. Because the Magnum we get, I'm pretty sure we've got the ability to, to uh... Thank God you're done browsing. Next time I'll one minute, we'll check real quick here. Um, Magnum Enforcer. Oh, we don't have that one. Okay. I don't think it's worth it then. thought we had the skill that gave us a 5% better deal with a Magnum drawn, but we don't. I think that's it. I think we're good. Let's oh, see what you got for quest. Nails. Yeah, what kind of quest do you have? Anything to the far west? No. Way north, though. Clear zombies. Do we want to stick around here, though? Northwest, clear zombies. I have a little Old bungalow, sure. If you're lucky, that might be that. Um, I'll take care of that one could very well be the uh, one we were in before with the bunker at the bottom. Uh, let's go see. We got time? Two hours. I don't know if two hours is enough. It's a tier two clear. Is it this little place right here? This can't be a tier two. Oh, it's this one over here. Oh yeah, that's a little bit more than two hours. That's a bit more than two hours, unfortunately. However, we can spend some time taking this apart. It's not really a double loot, but we can go ahead and pull these, this car apart as well. So when we do come back here tomorrow, 
we'll get a whole new card. Hopefully it's got stuff in it. Anything in here? Ah, uh, challenge. Just gonna scrap it. I, I kind of stopped doing challenges. They're not really challenges. They're like, just kill a bunch of zombies. Kind of at the end of when I was doing challenges, I was like... Ooh, bear over there. Let's not go over that way. I want this iron, though. I was, um, at the end of doing challenges, I was like, I would just go and pop the challenge. And then not stick around to fight the zombies because you don't have to kill the ones that show up. You can kill any zombies. As long as it's of the type that you need. So I would go and I would just, whatever, whenever I would find one, like in a building or whatever, I just make sure I killed it. Where I'm detecting a snack, it's over there. Like you would just make sure that I would kill them wherever I found them, or even on Horde Night. They count on Horde Night too. So I would complete challenges without even having to fight the zombies at the challenge location. With the exception of things like Screamer Zombies and that kind of stuff, right? It's not easy to get uh, that done. But, you know, starving tourists and cheerleaders or, you know, workers, kind of construction workers, those kind of guys, it's relatively easy to complete those without having to worry about doing it at that location. And it saves a little bit of time too, like you don't always have to like spend the time at that location, you know? Let's get a little bit of wood too while we're out here. I think today was pretty fruitful. I think it was definitely fruitful. We got a bunch of stuff. I gotta check that bow when we get home. You know, we got a whole bunch of stuff we can use. We picked up some iron. We picked up some lead. Some we got like five eggs today. Six eggs. So I think we made we had a really fruitful day. Now we got two more days to the horde, so we picked up concrete as well. So tonight I'm gonna keep reinforcing the base. How much wood do we have? Twelve hundred. Probably enough for now. Let's put this guy right here. No. There. Our trees are slowly growing. I wish they would grow taller because they block my sight. Although, at least I can avoid uh, looking at the crappy wasteland. Ooh, little garbage here. Oh, some brass. Nice. Alright, let's get back inside. I think we're done out here for today. I'm not going to worry about filling this in before the horde. We'll worry about that later. But I want to see if I can get this next level upgraded. i got to knock these windows out, I think, and replace them. So let's go and do some of that right now. And we can drop some of this stuff in here. Can drop... You can go back in there. And we'll modify you. So you do 30. This says 29, but once the iron arrows are in there, it'll be a lot more. Right, so if we switch this to iron arrows. Yeah, 35, and if we drop this, it'll be like 32, so it is better. All right, we can go ahead and drop you. Actually, we can just go ahead and scrap you, because we'll get more part, more, um, more money for the bow parts. All right, let's grab hammer, concrete. That can stay in there. Let's pull out this and this, and go ahead and get some more mix going. We're gonna need sand too. How much stone do we have? Sixteen hundred. Let's just do five hundred, because we need five hundred more to uh, to. Um, get the uh, thing updated. Okay, those, that, riots. Alright, let's go downstairs. 
and we'll spend the last bit of today's episode just slowly upgrading these walls now it's only going to go level one concrete but i'm fine with that we'll worry about the rest later on um after this next horde night i think we'll be fine i don't think they're going to try and break through these walls they'll come around front and i'm not going to update the walls out front i'm just going to leave them regular concrete because i don't think um i don't think they're going to break through in there i just don't think they'll do it even with it being regular concrete now it's double layer right on the outside so and if they come around back, well, then I guess we're going up on the roof and dropping shiz on them. we got a crap ton of pipe bombs I'm going to utilize. So we're going to do that. Uh, I should just take these out. can always put new ones in later. That work, that is. Okay, just take those out. All right, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Next episode, uh, we'll probably go out and do those quests for the traders. I didn't bring any cobble with me. Of course I didn't. Why would I? Um, we'll go do those quests for the traders. Uh, get those done. And then um, the following day will most likely be a day that we just um, spend making sure that the base is prepped for the horde. I, I'm kind of leery going out um, and doing questing and stuff when we're going to be um, fighting a horde. Because if I get hurt when I'm out... Then it's like we're fighting the horde with a broken leg or some ridiculous thing like that. Like we were last time we were exhausted or whatever. So I want to avoid that. So we'll figure out what we're going to do uh, for the day before the horde. But for now, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.